you're in the shot the entire time. Absolutely. <laughs> it's not about that. didn't ruin it. Yeah, no, you're fine. Like, you can come. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what is going on YouTube? One and only XRM here. Welcome to a fantastic day where we have the 2023 Ducati Diablo V4. Yes, finally get my hands on one. And it is this thrilling black, as Ducati calls it. You also get Ducati red, but one, it looks, I don't know, I like red Ducatis and thrilling black just sounds cooler. And I think it actually looks better. So you just saw my ride. If you haven't, link to the videos down below. Go over what it felt like to ride through the street, normal traffic riding, and then out on the twisties. You'll see that, it was an absolute blast. But today's video is all about what we have right here as a package, the technology that's in it, and really just some of the little quirks and features that I found to be either annoying or kind of good. Let's get into some of the numbers that are honestly rather impressive. It's the V4 Gran Turismo motor, so it's 1,158 cc's, and uh, that's a lot. <laughs> but what's really awesome about it is it's got 168 horsepower and 93 pound-feet of torque, so that last number with that size tire really makes this a fun bike coming out of turns because the, the width of this tire and the torque just plants and then it goes. Fantastic. That's made to a six speed gearbox. It's got the quick shifter, auto blipper. And again, Ducati's made that really, really smooth. You can still be in throttle and downshift. Obviously coming up, you can still be in throttle and upshift. It's super smooth. It's almost on par with what Aprilia's quick shifter is. So this Ducati Diablo has a bunch of riding modes, wet, touring, urban, sport. With what's really cool within each of those modes, you can actually change the power delivery. So if you want touring and a little bit more pep, you can go in there and do that. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Or if you want to be in sport and you want the throttle response moved to smooth for whatever weird reason, you can do that. And so one of the first quirks we're going to talk about is this right here. Trying to turn this thing on with gloves. It's hard enough without gloves. So with them, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's got a beautiful screen though. So first off, I want to point out something. The little light that's behind each one of these switches, the thing's backlit red. So at night, I can imagine it's really easy to find when you ride. To actually change from this menu to that menu, you have to hold the mode, little button up, hit the mode, then you go to riding modes. You see sport, touring, urban, wet, all that good stuff. You can change the parameters within them. So power, you got your full power and full dynamic. If you want to go medium, you got full power and smooth delivery. Low and you make it reduce power and smooth. If you got someone that doesn't know what they're doing, let them hop on and put it on that and they think they're going crazy in sport mode. Funny thing is you can make wet mode <laughs> the same way as sport mode if you want. So uh, there's a several amount of configuration as far as the power delivery and stuff like that. Uh, if you wanted to, your quick shifter wheelie control, funny display with the wheelie control is you see the little arrow. It's kind of less, but it's still there until you get it off. And then you're like, okay, well, there's no wheelie control. And I honestly wonder if you can wheelie this thing. You might be able to, but um, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> but the dash is laid out really nice. There's not too much information on it. And as you're riding, you can see what you need to see. That bottom menu here is configurable as well. If you want to put different items in there, say you don't want trip, you can change that. But if we go back up to the settings menu, I'm gonna show you that there is something that has always been lacking in Ducatis, and that is a fuel indicator. Not only can you change the level, or change it to show the level, you can show the range that you have. So now you actually have a gauge and hey, you only have this far to go until you're out. Look at that. Amazing. So one of the little quirks I want to talk about is this rear seat. It'll chatter at you. See how this moves? It's actually locked in like it's supposed to be, but there's not another latch further down, which is kind of interesting. Also, in order to get to the key, you have to move the stand out of the way. Stand, the rear passenger foot peg. So that comes off, there's just a little tab that goes there. That's it. Or if you wanna have a passenger, you lift this little guy up and now you have an oh shit handle. <laughs> or put it back in. You can't push it back in as it was mentioned to me before because what if you stop hard and they smash their fingers? At least 
Ducati thought of that, right? So there's one more thing I wanna talk about the seat. And while this is incredibly comfortable, very plush, and I like the texture on the seat itself. You can actually sit there and it holds you. You don't just slide around. Much like the older Diablo, when you sit down, it sort of locks you in, but not quite as bad because the old one sort of wrapped up around your butt a little bit, so you couldn't move side to side quite as well. I will say that it doesn't really let you go back quite as far as I would like. I'd like a little bit more room in the back, but other than that, the whole ergonomics of this bike, ugh, how much more relaxed can you get than this? It's a fast couch. I mean, come on. It's awesome. It's super fast, very comfortable. This fat rear tire, 240 section tire, just as you get on the throttle, it just stays planted and it's so much fun. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's got those nice round curves to it. It's got a big old back end, just gorgeous to look at. And it's not quite as, I don't know, aggressive as I think the older ones looked but I don't think that's a problem. I think it actually gives a little more refinement, which this bike has over those previous models. So if you're looking for a very comfortable, very fast and capable, and just really unique looking motorcycle, the Diablo is the one for you. Hope you all enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed the ride. It is an incredible bike. And I can't thank Andrew enough for letting me take his brand new baby out. It's got less than 300 miles on it. And it's a whole lot of fun. So with that, I hope you all have a good one. Check out my other videos, subscribe, obviously like this one, and you know what? Have a great day. I'm out.